Hey everyone, I'm Cosmo and welcome to another Trailmakers video. Today I decided to rebuild all of my Stranded in Space campaign vehicles because I feel like I could make them better, I think they're lacking in the performance department just a little bit, so I decided to completely rebuild them or, you know, in the case of this truck, just modify it a little bit. Now unfortunately I don't have the time lapse for this truck because, well, I started rebuilding it and then I was like, hey, I should probably make a video on this, it could be a cool video. Another reason I'm making this video guys is because I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway. That's right, I'm giving away a copy of Trailmakers because the devs were so nice and they hooked me up with some codes for you guys and I figured it's time to do a giveaway. Now the details for the giveaway are going to be revealed at the end of this video so make sure to watch the whole video all the way to the end to find out how you can enter the giveaway and win a copy of Trailmakers. But without further ado we're going to get right into rebuilding this stuff. I uh, well, I keep driving around in circles so <laughs> Let's actually get something done. Now, like I said, this truck is already rebuilt, guys. I did uh, I did rebuild it because I felt like it was flipping too much and it just wasn't performing the way that I wanted it to perform. So, obviously, like I said, no time lapse for this truck, but I do have the time lapses for the other vehicles. So, let me quickly go over what I did to this guy. So, I guess the biggest change is in the wheels and the suspension. I added an extra axle, so it has eight wheels now. I figured maybe it'll be a little bit more stable that way. I'm not sure, uh, you know, a little bit more maneuverable, which it is, it's definitely way more maneuverable now. The biggest, biggest change though I think was in the suspension, I tuned the suspension so that the thing doesn't flip anymore, or doesn't flip as much. Another actual reason that this thing was flipping was because of way too much weight up high from the magnetic arm, right? So. We're, uh, we're just gonna be lowering it at, like this every time we drive now. And it actually performs really, really well, guys. Like, I'm, you know, I'm cranking it pretty hard right now. Almost flipped there, but, I mean, this truck is a lot, lot better now. I got some underglow, you know, the traditional Cosmo underglow. Gotta have that. I got some weight blocks to kind of weigh me down, you know, so the truck has a lower center of gravity. And, yeah, I think it's good. It, I think it's much, much better now. I did add weapons. Not sure why we need weapons on it, but, you know, if I need to shoot the occasional chicken, then, uh, I got some guns. <laughs> I also swapped out, and this is purely aesthetic, obviously, but I also swapped out the, uh, the little hood piece on my truck into this, uh, Greyhound dog. I think it's a Greyhound, I'm not sure. Um, but I think it looks a lot cooler than the bull bars did. This thing is pretty rad now. It's also got lights, more lights. Definitely gonna help with all that nighttime adventuring with Scrapman. And, uh, yeah, so this is the truck, guys. Obviously not a whole lot, uh, different on it. The biggest change, or, the, or my biggest focus, rather, was to <laughs> make it not flip. And even though it still wants to do that a little bit, it's way, way better. So, there's one vehicle done. Unfortunately, you know, like I said, no time lapse, but... I do have the time lapses for the other ones, so let's get right into it. I was going to try and pick up more salvage with this guy, but we already know that it does it just fine, so we're not going to worry about that right now. I am going to demonstrate picking up salvage with the other new vehicles, so let's get right into it. I'm just rambling. Alrighty guys, so the first on the rebuild list, or rather I guess the second, is this hovercraft. Now, the hovercraft itself is pretty cool, however, I just... It's not nearly as controllable as I'd like it to be, and also the way that, you know, the magnet is positioned and the way that it picks up salvage is a little bit tedious, and I just, you know, I want to make it a little bit easier. Just to kind of demonstrate right now um, how how it picks up salvage, let me, uh, let me spawn one in. Alrighty, got a fancy salvage spawn there, and <laughs> unfortunately I spawned it right in my vehicle, so we gotta get it off. There we go. So the way it works right now is I basically have to line up the hovercraft like a slingshot with the salvage piece if I want to pick it up like so. Okay, come on. As you can see, it's already a little bit tedious. Alrighty, lined up. Now I'm just gonna press the magnet button. Perfect. And lift up the salvage. There you go. So, it's okay. It does okay. It's not, you know, it's not the greatest uh, pickup system, but I think it does pretty well. Um, not good enough. Not good enough, guys. <laughs> I don't think this thing has nearly enough control or not as much as I'd like, so we're just going to rebuild it, make it a little bit more nimble, make it a little bit faster, and uh, make it easier to pick up salvage. So, without further ado, let's get to building. Now, one quick note, guys, I did do the time lapses earlier in the day in campaign mode so that I knew what parts I was limited to, so the time lapses may seem a little bit, uh, you know, out of place, but they are recent, so enjoy! In my mind, I 
Alrighty guys, here we go, the new and improved hovercraft. I love this thing, I think it works way better. As you can see, I've got a bunch of control surfaces to help me maneuver a lot easier, almost on the spot, like I can, you know, I'm pretty nimble now, pretty maneuverable. I couldn't really do this stuff with the other hovercraft. I do have better strafing options now too, so if I slow myself down here, I can go right, I can go left, of course, uh, you know, gravity is uh, sucking me down the hill, but that's okay. I've got three forward propellers that are pivoted, of course, to uh, help me turn, and I have uh, three reverse propellers which are not pivoted because, well, you know, I figured I can use my control surfaces for that. So, overall, this thing is way, way better, way more stable, and I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna, you know, perform a lot better as far as picking up salvage goes and just, you know, maneuvering the, uh, the stranded in space map. Oh man, this is this is cool. This is cool. This does work a lot better, I think. Uh, so we're just gonna turn around and we're gonna test if the salvage picker upper thing works. <laughs> here, let me get close to the salvage. Oh, that's a little too far. Let's uh, go back here a little bit. Perfect. Now we drop down, and the arrow keys actually move this whole magnet thing around. It's on pistons, so I can extend it. Beautiful. Can I extend it far enough? Maybe. Okay. Oh, I actually got the salvage. That's good. Okay, so now we can pick it up. I should probably uh, lower the speed of those uh, hinges. They're a little too fast. Suck it back in. Lovely. Now maybe lift it up a little more so that we can get it. There you go, like that. And let's get back up. Look at that, guys. Look at that. So much easier. So much easier. I mean, I'm, I'm getting a bit of a salvage interference here, but that's okay. That's so much easier. I love it. I love it. And the nice thing is that, you know, I can I can swivel it around any way I want. It doesn't seem to be really affecting how the vehicle behaves. I'm sure, you know, the weight distribution gets a little messed up, but that's okay. This is awesome, guys. This is wicked. This is exactly what I was hoping for. I am super stoked on this hovercraft. It, uh, it works way better than my other one. Let me tell you that much. Now, of course, if I... You know, can't just, you know, drop my hover pads down like this because I'm on lava. Well, I'll just have to... I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see if I can do this with the hover pads on. Let's drop this thing off. And let's see if I can do this with the hover pads on. Oh boy, I broke everything. Let's see if I can do something here. We're gonna extend this all the way like this. Perfect. Okay, no, 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 no. Line up. Line up with the salvage. Oh boy, that's not lighting up. That's not lighting up. What happened to being super controllable, buddy? Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, so it's still a little tedious to control when you're actually trying to control it with, uh, you know, with the hover pads on. But that's okay. 
that's okay because we can just do this, right? We can just do. Come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> this is not a good. Uh, there we go. Perfect. I got it. See, easy mode. <laughs> Honestly, guys, that is easier than it was before. So I'm still, uh, still pretty satisfied with this whole thing. Yeah, I should probably, should probably lift it up further before I, before I try and move it over. I keep hitting the fins. Let's grab this guy again. Perfect. Sweet. Now I can just suck it in. Boop. And we're all good to go. We're all good to deliver it to a depot. <laughs> so yeah, that works a lot better, guys. I'm really, really pumped about this hovercraft. I, uh, I'm glad I rebuilt it. Let's just put it that way. But I think it's time to work on another vehicle. And I think I'm going to work on a glider this time. It's, uh, it's pretty bad. The glider's pretty bad. So this monstrosity right here is actually my original glider. <laughs> the idea was to basically have, like... A uh, section underneath where I can, you know, drive over a salvage like so. I can probably just demonstrate it. I do have to back into it in a bit of an odd way because of the way it's set up. Oh boy. There. Oh no. Oh no. Drove over it. Drove right over it. See? See? Already not efficient. <laughs> the biggest thing about this too is that, well, it doesn't get magnetized down the middle. So basically my glider is probably going to be tilting to the left side the whole time if I try to fly like this. But let's give it a go anyway. And I do have some jet thrusters on here, you know, because it has a hard time taking off on its own. Oh boy. As you guys can see... It doesn't even glide. It barely glides. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of embarrassing. Let's try that again without the salvage. I'm just really curious now. Um, uh, <laughs> okay. I wouldn't really call that gliding. It was it was very close to controlled falling, but it was certainly not gliding. So let's uh, let's rebuild the glider, guys. Got to make this thing better. Alrighty guys, here we are. Much, much different from what I had before. <laughs> I did try and build this one a little smaller because, you know, I wanted to uh, make sure to minimize the weight so that it has a better time gliding. Um, and I think I managed to actually make a pretty decent glider. So if we get a run up here right now, just on this hill right here, let's see if, uh, let's see if we can lift off. Oh, I, it lifted off even before I... <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I guess I pressed the button that spawns stuff. Did I, did I press a button that spawns stuff? I guess I did, because I spawned another salvage. But here, let's uh, let's go a little higher up on the map, because I want to get a run-up and actually see how well this thing glides. I got three wheels to minimize weight as well. That, uh, that should help, I think. I got enough control surfaces. I think I've got enough gliding uh, gliding surfaces too, so let's let's go. Oh man, much better glider already. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. So I do have elevators and I do have ailerons. I don't have yaw, which is fine. Um, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, 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 hey, I landed right next to the salvage. Kind of. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, I can't even get in the seat. All right, come on. Much, much better glider than before. And uh, I think I'm going to try using it with a salvage now. Uh, I am going to go back up here because, well, I do need a run up to get some height. And we'll spawn another salvage here just for demonstration purposes. Oh boy, pressed the wrong button, went a little too fast. Let's spawn another, uh, spawn another salvage here. Beautiful. 
Right. Let's see if I can actually glide with a piece of salvage here. Let's, uh, let's figure out a way to get this guy. I almost I feel like I need double set of pistons on this as well. Because I don't know if this is going to be far enough to reach there, you know? You know what? Let's quickly add another set of uh, pistons to this thing. It doesn't want us to do that. It doesn't want us to do that. It's a little too far. All right, so it didn't let me add an extra set of pistons, but that's okay. Wait, where did all my salvage go? Give me back my salvage. Okay, well, you got to stop breaking my vehicle too, bud. It's Shift S. Oh, Shift S spawns it. Okay, makes sense. I mean, it doesn't, but makes sense. Okay, let's try and get this piece of salvage here. Well, that's not working out too well so far. Hmm, it does need to be longer. I do feel like the the pistons need to be longer. I just don't know how to do that. Okay, I think I know how to do that. Alrighty, there we have it. The creation spawns in a little funny now because, you know, well, this is on the side, but that's okay. We can always rotate it, and now it's lined up with the center of the, of the plane, or the glider, rather. Okay, so now let's try picking up the salvage. Oh boy, oh boy, causing some suspension glitches there. <laughs> if I turn it way too far, as you can see, it's uh, it's wanting to turn my plane a little bit. Let's turn it around the other way. There we go. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, focus, focus. Okay, don't think I even needed the super long pistons for that, but that's okay. Boom, we got that. Now we lift it up. Okay, put it over our head. This is fine, right? <laughs> okay, and now I gotta try gliding with this. I really, really hope that works. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Okay, line up here. Perfect. Let's go. Wow, it glides. It actually glides. <laughs> it uh, it definitely wants to fall a little more, but you no, know, with the salvage, as opposed to not having the salvage. But it's still. Still glides pretty darn well, guys. I'm pretty happy with this. <laughs> now, situationally, if I feel like it's not gliding far enough, or, you know, it's not doing what I wanted to, I can always add wings, I can always remove wings. Not a big deal, but, you know, this is, uh, this is a great foundation for, for a glider. That's awesome. <laughs> so cool. I actually spawned another salvage, but so cool. Love it. This actually worked out way better than I thought. I was like, okay, I can make it glide, but can I make it glide with salvage on top? And I guess the answer is... Yes? <laughs> Alrighty, on to the next one. Alrighty guys, gotta get to the water for this next one because I'm going to be rebuilding my boat and submarine. Now, I do want to combine those into one vehicle. I don't feel like I need uh, two separate vehicles for that. So, hopefully we can build something cool that, you know, can act as a boat and as a submarine. Let me show you guys what I'm working with right now, though. So, this right here is uh, my lovely campaign boat, which I'm going to rebuild because it already broke. This was one of the first boats that I built. I don't know why it's not moving. Uh, maybe because I'm in the wrong seat. There we go. I was in the wrong seat. <laughs> so it's actually a really awesome boat. Um, it does have a magnet on the front, you know, it can pick stuff up, but it, it's not very practical, you know, like it can't actually pick salvage up very well. It can't carry it. It can't manipulate it. You know, the boat does have wheels, so it is technically amphibious, but I don't know if that is even necessary because, you know, we have a truck now, we have a hovercraft, and we can always switch to those vehicles. But it can drive on the land, as you can see. Uh, it's a little, little iffy, but it can do it. And it is a great boat, but it's just not, like, not a practical boat. I don't use this for anything, and I really would like to use a boat again, so we're gonna have to rebuild this guy. Now, let me show you guys my uh, submarine. <laughs> this right here is the OG submarine that I built. It's uh, it's a little wonky, so I believe. Uh, oh nope, that's uh, that's you know that's driving. Great. <laughs> Let's see how we. Wait, no, is all of it driving? Ridiculous. I always forget the. This is one of the reasons I'm rebuilding this. Is because I just I don't even know the controls to my own vehicle anymore. There we go. Now I'm a submarine. <laughs> so this vehicle was pretty great. Um, I do really like it. However, it is quite slow, as you can see. Uh, stop spawning stuff, please. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, very slow. Um, it's not very controllable. I'm not really a fan of. Uh, how it's controlled. Oh geez, we're so slow. Okay, so as you guys can see, not the uh, not the greatest sub here. It's just it's it's it sucks. It sucks. Okay, I don't even want to show it off anymore because it just it sucks so hard and it doesn't work that well. And it you know it was nice for a bit, but I think it's time to 
think it's time to fix this thing and actually build something useful. So, let's get rid of all the salvage, let's get rid of this junker, and let's get to building a boat that is, you know, actually good. Ta-da! Here we go, guys. I finished the boat, and not only is it a boat, it's also a submarine. <laughs> so let me show off the boat features first. Obviously, you know it uh, it does both things. It uh, it turns, it uh, it goes forward, it uh, it it goes underwater because I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> but uh, base. Okay, you know what? We got to get rid of this menu. This is this is really annoying. So you know what? We're just gonna drop that down. Perfect. And I'm going to get rid of this menu because it's quite literally being a pain in the butt. Hopefully the spawn stuff is still there. Is it? Is it? I think I deleted it. Okay, you know what? It's fine. We'll, uh, we'll respawn some salvage when the time comes. For now, I'm just going to show off the boat. Alright, so, as you can see, we've got a bunch of thrusters underneath. We got the, uh, Cosmo Underglow. We have our turning with fins and thrust, which, uh, I felt was important this time around. I'm not just turning with fins, because I do want to have uh, power turning as well. It doesn't turn very well, like sideways, you know, um, but whatever. It does both things. It's fine. It's a boat. <laughs> um, now, if I want to go underwater, well, I just have to decrease my buoyancy blocks, and down we go. This is awesome. It actually works a lot better than my sub did, I think. It's still a little bit tedious to control, because there's just so many... Uh, you know, so many buttons, but I do feel more comfortable controlling this sub. It um, it just it just feels a lot better. So definitely stoked about that. I like my design. I like how I hid all the you know fins underneath there. It keeps it all nice and compact. Nothing sticking out. And uh, yeah, not much to it, guys. But definitely better than it was before. And yeah, now we're back to boat form, and uh, we can just skim the surface. You know, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> I don't know why it keeps going underwater like that, but honestly, it's not a big deal. This is uh, this is perfectly fine for me, and I am really satisfied with how this build came out. So let's try picking up a salvage. I really want to see if it can do that. Gonna spawn one of these guys in. Perfect. And now I can actually I remove the key binding, so I'm not gonna have the annoying uh, shift S thing going on anymore. But uh, yeah, let's go get that salvage piece. Let's see if we can actually get it. Okay. Dive. Oh. I, guys, I, I removed the keybind, you can stop now. Are we good now? Because I changed ya. 
Are you gonna save? I hope you saved. No, of course you didn't. Why would you? <laughs> uh, this is so frustrating. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're just gonna do this. We're just gonna get this guy right here. You know, perfect. Get it up, get it up. Retract. Get it down a little bit lower. Alrighty. And I think now we can, we can go back up. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Haha! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yes, yes, shift S, keep spawning stuff. <laughs> so that's awesome, guys. This thing is clearly capable of getting salvage from underwater just fine. Much easier than my other one did. My other one was actually almost nearly impossible to get salvage with, which is why I did this in the first place. I like it a lot better. I like it a lot better. I do have trouble turning. I think I might have to put maybe some fins up front. Let me just quickly do that. I can't do that because I got salvage on me. Right. Let's see if that helps to steer a little better. No, I don't think it's better to the point that I'm okay with it glitching into the cockpit like that. So, we're just gonna get rid of that. I think I might need to add some turning thrust. Which, uh, you know, also isn't really a big issue. Just, just has to get done. Let's see if I can do that right now. Oh, that actually worked a lot better. Cool. So I added some uh, some fins to my turning here. Let me just quickly show you. There you go. Just some fins there for turning. And that, that seems to work way, way better, guys. So that's good. Well, there you have it, guys. Rebuilt four of my vehicles. Had a blast doing it. I think they're way, way better now. And I guess at this point, you must be, uh, you must be all like, Okay, Cosmo, enough building. Tell us about the giveaway. <laughs> so let's talk about the giveaway. Let me save this thing. Perfect. Cool. And let's actually grab a vehicle that I can use on land. I am going to do my very best to not bore you guys with the giveaway details. I'm going to try and keep it nice and concise, but there is some information to go over. So, the Trailmakers devs were super kind and they hooked me up with two free Trailmakers codes for Steam on PC. They also hooked me up with two keys for Max The Curse of Brotherhood on Xbox One. So, I'm going to be giving away one of each today on Twitter. Now the reason I'm doing it on Twitter is because that is the easiest way to contact you guys for the key. It's the easiest way for me to pick a winner because the thing with YouTube is even if I asked you guys to leave some comments, uh, well then I have to figure out a way to contact that user and that requires me asking for their email and a bunch of other information. And the way that YouTube has been, I don't really want to get into any sort of legal troubles, so we're going to be doing it on Twitter this time around. Now, I know that not everybody has Twitter, and I do apologize for that, guys, but this is the most, uh, I guess, practical and realistic way that I can do this first giveaway. The second giveaway I'm going to likely be doing on my Discord channel, or rather Discord server, which is uh, still being set up, so that is why I can't do it for this one. Now that I got that out of the way, here's how you can enter the giveaway. All you have to do is go to my Twitter profile and retweet the tweet that announces the giveaway. That's it. That's all. You just gotta retweet it, that way I know you've entered, and uh, I'm going to be using a fancy random retweet picker to, uh, you know, pick the winner. That's it, guys. That's it. I'm gonna have two different tweets, one for the Trailmakers game, one for the Max uh, The Curse of Brotherhood game, uh, simply because, you know, one is for PC, one is for Xbox One, and uh, hopefully two of you will, will get a free game. Well, no, rather, two of you will definitely get a free game. <laughs> it's just a matter of uh, who will get it. So, I'm really excited for this, guys. I've never really done a giveaway. This is my first giveaway. I'm excited to uh, give a copy of Trailmakers away. This is a really fun game, and I know some people are, you know, just itching to play it as well. So, this is a great opportunity to do so, and uh, I think that everybody should enter. I wish I could give away more free copies, but I only have two, and I kind of want to pace myself because I do want to give a broader audience a chance as well when I get my Discord server up and running. So, without further rambling guys, I'm literally just driving around killing chickens and, and jumping in my car. <laughs> I'm at that stage in the video. <laughs> if you guys did enjoy the video, definitely let me know in the comments below. Definitely click the like button, it helps uh, the video be seen by other people. The algorithm does its magic. Make sure to enter the giveaway. Once again, go to my Twitter, retweet the tweet that you want to win the game for from stuff. And yeah, subscribe, stay tuned for other videos, brain is broken, bye!